Hello everyone to the new video. In this video, I will talk about the Files app, which is natively installed in the Chrome OS and Chromebooks. In my idea, it is also one of the reasons that you should be considering the Chrome OS and Chromebooks. For in my idea, without these files and without this managing the files that I had, I would not buy this device. So it is one of the main part of this uh, Chrome OS experiences. And uh, but before we get started in this video with the files app, please subscribe and support my channel. I will do more Chrome OS related videos so you can stay also tuned. So let's get it started. I will open the files app here. I will maximize it here. So I will start from the top left here. We have the recent apps. These are all the recent apps that you uh, downloaded or opened in your Chrome OS. It will show up here. You can definitely search here. As you can see in the top bar, you have the thumbnail view. If you click on that, you will see the thumbnail view here. And you have also the sort options based on name, size, type, and date modified. For here also you can resize these, this is also possible and also here you have some more settings to make a new window, select all, show hidden files and here you have also add new service like SMB file share and install new device. What happens when you come and click on one of these files and you do right click here? You can open it with this video player because this is a video file here. You can open it with different uh, video player applications. If you download it from the Play Store, you can, as you know, you have also Android options, Android apps here. So if you install more apps here, they will also show up here. You can also do more action, actions, like you can add to Maps, a Gmail, OneNote, for example, here, and you can cut, copy, paste, or get info here. And if I go to the one picture, like a G PNG file here, you can see open with gallery you have here. You, ha you have also open with different, again, applications that support uh, opening these uh, format. You have, again, more actions, go to file location, which in this case doesn't make sense because we are in the file location. And you can also make this available offline and that will go to your uh, Google Drive kind of so, or share with others managing drive so these options are uh, related to the Google Drive that is re implemented in the OS natively and when you click on the get info then you will see the information that comes here you have the size data modified and type file location and etc etc so now we, in the others you have here the audio here you have all the audios in your device in your chromebook you have here the images all of the images in your device and you have all of the videos in your device that will show up also here but the most important part is your my files here here you will see all the folders and also the files from the play store and or android apps that you installed so if you go to the play files here you will see all the data all the documents all the downloaded files from the uh, android apps that you installed here here downloads these are the, uh, the applications that you directly download from the chrome browser they come here and if you open the camera app in your device then it creates this folder and all the pictures and the videos will be stored here this is also new in the chrome os 88 this part and if you want to make a new folder you just click here you make right click new folder let's give us pictures and there you have it now i have a new picture and if you want to copy paste something i will just go download Control c come back here Control v that's all you're familiar with this task kind it's similar to the windows and the micro s kind of the google drive is really nicely implemented here it's one of the best implementation i see it's much better than windows it's much better than mac os and android devices uh, it feels like natural as a part of the os and part of this file manager app and here you have my drive you see all the documents that they are in the cloud in your google cloud kind of you have the shared with me option here and you have the offline 
documents that you have. So if I come here to my drive and I go to this PIX folder, I make this uh, available offline. I can do that from there or I, we can switch it from here. I will do that. Now this is available offline for me. So if you don't have internet access, I can just go to the offline and I can see these files. And this picture was inside of this PIX folder. So it, they show it separately. And if I want to redo it, I can just go to my drive and I can select the folder again and I can just take the check mark away. And that's it. Then the files will be also deleted from this offline mode. So actually that was the part that I wanted to show you guys here. And if you want to open a new files app, you just here click on the the folder app and you make a new window and now you have multiple windows and you can copy paste from the other one put it in another one you can make like a two screens here share that or you can make it full screen by just dragging the up middle here and i will just close one of them and keep one of these now i wanted to also connect the sd card and the hard drive to show you guys how it looks like i will connect now the sd card and also the h the hard drive that I have here. You can see that the SD card was automatically like detected here. These are all the files that I have in my SD cards. If I right click, I have the option to eject, format and rename it. And this was my hard drive that now it's been recognized here. And you can see you have the folder, you can create folder. And if you want to eject it, you just need to click on the eject button here. It's similar to Mac OS. Uh, if you use it, so you just click on that and the uh, hard drive and SD cards will be rejected. So that was it for this My Files app in the Chrome OS 88. Hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you guys in the next one.